Right, okay, hopefully um, you've now managed to do all your lip syncing. So if you look, sometimes I've had to leave gaps, sometimes I haven't. A lot of this, because it's quite quick paced, so I've had to change the phoneme I've used on every frame. So just to show you what mine looks like, um, here we go. Off you go, Simon Peter. Oh man, it never plays. I got bored by the end, I didn't want to do the rest of it. Okay, so at that stage, it's finished. Hooray! The only other thing that you could do, which I'm not going to because I'm feeling very lazy, is you could move the chin. I've not done anything else on the chin layer, but there it is. Um, you could move that chin up and down so that when his mouth's open... Let's just turn on you and skin enough. I don't need that on. So that when his mouth opens, like there, especially there, his chin could move down a little bit. So if I just put a keyframe in there... Uh, Wrong keyboard shortcut, get a grip, Shane. F6 and F6. So if on this one I just move his chin down a smidge. Oh, I've locked it. That'll be the problem. So, um, did that move? Doesn't seem to want to move. Why wouldn't it want to move? Ha! <laughs> Wrong button. What a loser. There you go. That's a bit too far. But there I can just move his chin down. Create a classic tween. And then when his mouth moves back up again. Oh, that would be all very up and down, wouldn't it? So maybe by this frame here, I would then have to move it back up a few frames. Create a classic tween. And then maybe I would just keep sort of copying those frames over copy frames paste frames now I've not been very careful with this so it might not work um, but then you can see the chin will move up and down with the mouth so it just adds a, an extra dimension of sort of um, realism to your animation so the chin just moves up and down a little bit um, so if you've got time go for that but that's it so we've done um, some facial character animation using library assets well done you i know you could do it bye